Hello and good evening, Edgewood families. My name is Christy Franco, and I serve as the Edgewood ISD. I serve Edgewood ISD as the Senior Director of Innovation. I'm so excited to be here tonight at our first virtual school choice fair, and for you all to have the opportunity to learn more about the innovative opportunities within Edgewood ISD. So Edgewood ISD continues to be an open enrollment district where families in and outside of the district can choose the best school for their students. Our schools are different by design and are grouped into innovation zones. Tonight, you will learn about schools within our public service zone, where the focus is on student programs that service the community through multiple outlets. Before we begin our presentation, I would like to go over some Zoom etiquette for this session. Please note that during the presentations, all microphones will be off to allow our presenters time to speak. At the end of the session, we will have breakout rooms with our campus staff, one for elementary schools and a second one for secondary for our middle and high schools, where you can directly ask campus staff questions. To facilitate this movement in an organized manner, please add ES or SC to the end of, your, end of your name on Zoom so we know which room you would like to be placed in. In order to change your Zoom name, hover over the three dots next to your current name in the Zoom, in the Zoom window. This will give you an option to change your name. Please add ES if you would like to go to the elementary breakout room and SC if you would like to go to the secondary breakout room, meaning middle and high school. You will add this to the end of your name. If you're unable to do so, we do have a few staff members on hand who will message you if you need help. Thank you again for being here. And now we'll begin the evening with a message from our superintendent, Dr. Hernandez. Hello, Edgewood ISD families. This is Dr. Hernandez, your superintendent here in Edgewood. The virtual school choice fair is taking place on November the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 16th via Zoom. This virtual event allows families inside and outside of Edgewood ISD to learn more about the schools and programs available to them for the 2021-22 school year. I have often received the question, why innovate and create choice schools? Innovation in our schools and offering choice to our families gives our students the education tailored to meet their individual needs. It creates higher student achievement and increases rates of graduation. The innovation follows our vision 2025, where we follow our district's mission, vision, our student outcome goals, and our core values. Edgewood ISD plans to innovate many campuses by 2025 to fit into one of the following innovation zones. Early childhood, leadership, performing arts, public service, and STEAM. Today is a wonderful introduction to the upcoming changes happening in the EISD campuses. Listen to campus principals give details on their campus and have the opportunity for questions and answers during breakout rooms. Families will also be able to complete the new Smart Choice online application starting November 9th, 2020. Thank you, Edgewood ISD families, for your commitment to our district. It continues to be an honor to be your superintendent. Have a great evening and God bless you. SOPs, right? Okay, great. So we are going to kick off our evening with our amazing principal from Henry Eagles. Okay, well, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Samantha Gonzalez, and I am the principal at Henry B. Gonzalez Elementary, and I am excited to be here with you this evening and talk about the great things that are happening at Henry B. <laughs> 
So at Henry B. Gonzalez, we want to start with our mission statement for you this evening. We empower and prepare leaders to be proactive toward lifelong success. As a collaborative team at Henry B., we keep the end in mind by setting goals to reach our full potential. Every child must succeed, and we take that very seriously for every child that comes through the doors of Henry B. Gonzalez. We are a school of excellence, and we want every student to leave well prepared to do whatever they choose out into the world. So first, I want to start this evening um, to let you get to know us. We have some new faces at Henry B. Gonzalez. Um, and some returning um, faces. And so we're excited. First of all, again, my name is Samantha Gonzalez, um, and this is my first year at Henry B. And I am so honored and privileged um, to step into this role at Henry B. Gonzalez and lead the way. Um, I, I step into this with nine years of experience um, in the principalship, and I'm excited to be here in Edgewood and part of this amazing, amazing team. Also um, at HBG, our assistant principal, Ms. De La Garza, returns to us. She has a long history in Edgewood, and she brings that Edgewood spirit. Um, and we love that, that she really um, leads the way um, in keeping those Edgewood traditions alive. We also have a new counselor coming to us um, from the Fine Arts, um, Ms. Bailano. And then we have our new instructional coach, Ms. Alberto, who is also coming from within the district. So we have a great powerhouse new team this year at HBG and we are excited. So um, we wanna get started to really dive into what makes Henry B. Gonzalez a great place to come to school. So we are the Proud Eagles. We serve pre-K through fifth grade students. Um, school is from 7.45 to 3.30 each day. Um, and of course, our office is open from 7.45, 7.15, pardon me, to 3.45 to help and serve and support and answer questions in any way that we can. And of course, because this is why you're here tonight, you know that we are part of the public service zone um, and we are proud to be in this innovation zone. So I also wanted to share with you some of the partnerships um, that we have at Henry B. Gonzalez. We're looking forward to growing these and really seeing the impact that they can make on our campus and then ultimately with our students. So the first one is our All Stars um, Challenge After School Program. Um, we are excited to have them as part of our campus. First of all, they are a free service for our students. Um, and what's really great is although they are in after school care, it's more than just after school care. They really have a focus on academics. Um, so students get help with their homework here. Um, the activities that are all designed to engage students are built around the state standards. So it isn't just um, after school care, but it's really engaging work for the kids to keep building and growing and supporting them. Um, we also have um, a great partnership that we've begun with HEB, um, and they have done a fantastic job supporting us. Um, they provide donations and support. We want to give our students um, incentives and recognize their efforts in attendance and in school participation um, so that when they are working hard, we can really acknowledge our scholars and HEB has done a great job to help us do that. So these have been two, of, um, two examples of really good partnerships that we have at Henry B. Gonzalez. So we want to take a moment and talk about how we fit into the public service innovation zone um, within Edgewood ISD. So the first thing is um, we are excited. We will be a campus that will be innovating in the 2022-23 school year. So as we watch those other campuses um, begin to innovate, we are excited to get to follow into their footsteps. And that will be a journey that any student who's at Henry B will get to, to come along with us. So we're excited for that. Um, and currently our focus is improving student reading, writing and math skills in order for students to choose a path that allows them to progress in the public service zone we really want to focus on those high academic expectations so that students can then follow in the public service zone and be ready and be very successful. Nothing is more important than academics and we wanna make sure that everyone walks out of the doors of Henry B with all of the skills they need to be successful. 
And so with that, we really want to make sure that we're collaborating with the other schools in our zones, particularly our middle schools. We want to collaborate with Gus Garcia University on projects and service learning events so that we can create the alignment between our schools and so that students can seamlessly travel from the elementary into the middle school. So for some of the academic offerings you could expect to see at Henry B, the first one is our dual language one-way program. So we are proud to offer this. These are classrooms that support bilingual education for students um, where Spanish is their primary language in the home. So research shows that if we can start students off in their primary language, um, we can move them then into English. And what happens is we can really produce strong students who are bilingual and biliterate. And so we offer this in each one of our grade levels um, at Henry B. Gonzalez. We also are making, an, um, making sure that we're offering academic clubs to students. So these clubs that can support their academic work, but also give students um, a different opportunity. And so some of these look like, um, but not limited to robotics clubs, chess clubs, Girl Scouts, we do math clubs, art clubs, all of these things to really engage our learners um, beyond just the traditional classroom. So one of the other things that's incredibly important is that we reach all of our learners. All students are in different places in their academic journey. And so we wanna make sure that for those students who might need additional support that we provide remediation, that we're really targeting interventions that we're planning for the individual child um, and not just for the whole to make sure that uh, we're building all the skills that that child needs. And then we also wanna make sure that we're having advanced opportunities at Henry B. So these coming through building opportunities for students to do individual projects, having gifted and talented opportunities and really being able to extend the curriculum um, for those that are ready for those challenges. And so I wanna go back um, and touch a little bit more. We have academic offerings, but also extracurricular offerings. And so um, you heard me mention that we have Girl Scouts. So these are for all girls, K through five can participate. Um, and we do that on the campus once a week. Um, we look into having art clubs where students can really explore their creative side, look into those fine arts opportunities and begin to build projects throughout the year. Um, additionally, very popular on the, ca the campus is our mariachi group, um, where students really get the opportunity to sing in the group, but also to learn about their traditions and the cultures of being part of a mariachi band. And this is a really popular one with our students. And so we're excited to keep this tradition going. Um, we also wanna see our parents be involved at Henry B. Gonzalez. Nothing's more important than the partnership that we make with parents. And so in a few ways that we do that is by having a monthly family literacy project. So we really wanna encourage families to read at home together and do a project that they can bring up to school and display. Um, we're even willing, um, we have plenty of books. We wanna supply those books to our families if they don't have um, something fresh to read at home, they can come up and we'll be happy to, to supply that. We'd love to have parents that can come up to the campus, participate and help prepping materials for um, teachers, helping in the front office, volunteering to read in a class. There are endless opportunities for parents to be engaged. Um, and we would love to have that partnership with all of our parents. And then we also offer um, family academic nights. So these are nights designed during the school year um, to come in and work alongside your child and really get to see what kind of academic um, projects they're working on, see the work they're doing, um, and these are always just a fun night to come out and have a good um, family environment together. So some of the resources that we provide to the families at um, Henry B. Gonzalez are all of our students um, get free breakfast and lunch that's provided. And in addition, they get an after school snack. Um, I've already mentioned, of course, that we have our after school program, which is provided at no cost to any of the families. Um, all of the resources that students need to be successful in the classroom are provided. So school supplies, science lab materials, any resources that we need for projects, we're gonna make sure that the students have all of those things that they need. And then of course, we're really excited because this year um, we are all one-to-one -one devices for all of our students. 
So the big question as you um, begin to explore student uh, schools for your students is why choose Henry B. Gonzalez? And I would tell you for high academic expectations, um, my goal is to see that every student is successful at Henry B. Gonzalez, that every student is growing academically and ensuring that they grow and that they can do whatever it is that they choose, that we send them out the doors ready and prepared to conquer middle school and be successful. Um, also, we have a strong one-way dual language program. This is a fantastic opportunity for students to come um, and be, be biliterate and bilingual. Um, I cannot express the endless opportunities that uh, this opens for students who can uh, both speak and read in Spanish and have both languages, um, endless opportunities for students. And we're very proud of our one-way dual language program. And finally, um, I think really being part of our proud school community. Henry B. Gonzalez has a history in the Edgewood community. Last year, they celebrated their 50th anniversary. And we are so proud and so honored and privileged to serve the Edgewood community and the families that have made Henry B. part of their own tradition. And so we really want to continue that and be a school of community and be proud to send your child to your community school. So as you're thinking about um, schools this evening and through the next few days, we of course want you to visit our website, uh, follow us on social media, reach out to us if you have questions in any way that we can answer. Anyone on our leadership team or in our um, front office would be more than happy to answer your questions about Henry B. Gonzalez. We are proud to be part of this innovation zone and um, would just love to share even more with you um, should you wanna get more information. So thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you so much, Ms. Gonzalez. Next up, we have the fantastic assistant principal at Lyndon B. Johnson Elementary, Ms. Uh, Martha Esquivel. Thank you, Ms. Franco. Good evening, EISD community. My name is Marta Esquivel, and I am the proud assistant principal here at LB Johnson Elementary, home of the Bobcats. Here at LB Johnson, our mission is in partnership with all stakeholders, LB Johnson commits to create engaging learning experiences to empower student success to prepare them for their future. Our vision is every student every day, providing lasting paw prints for lifelong learners. Our campus is under the leadership of our fearless leader, Ms. Ellie Gearhart. Within our campus leadership team, we have our amazing counselor, Ms. Leslie Ortiz, our dedicated social worker, Ms. Pamela Schrank. Our teachers also have the opportunity of working alongside our K through three ELAR, coach, Ms. Nancy Ortiz. Our campus serves a pre-kinder through fifth grade students. Our school hours are from 7.30 to 3.30 and our daily office hours are from 7.15 to 4. I am pleased to announce that our campus follows the pathway of the public service innovation zone. So how does LBJ fit into the public service zone? Our campus offers the dual language two-way model currently for students in kinders first, kinder through first and our one-way model for students in second through fifth. Students participating in the dual language program have the opportunity to acquire a second language while continuing to build their first language. Our campus provides a full-time pre-kinder program for our four-year-old students and our teachers also provide differentiated curriculum for our gifted and talented students that receive and that have been identified through this program. Our counselor and social worker have worked very hard to create our character education program. They have created daily social emotional lessons that allow our students to reflect on their self-efficacy, their confidence, and their self-worth. Our students are rewarded for demonstrating character traits each month. Our students have the opportunity in engaging in our fine arts programs led by Mr. Lawyer and Mr. Wilburn. 
Some of those extracurricular activities are the guitar club, our LBJ ensemble, and our paint bucket percussionist that our students truly enjoy. LBJ also provides special education and dyslexia programs for those students that qualify. LBJ strives every day to reach all learners. Some of the ways we accelerate our students who need additional support in their studies is through the use of the flipped classroom model. Through the flipped classroom model, students have the opportunity to preview materials before, the, before they meet with the teacher face to face. This assists the students in closing gaps he or she may have in their learning. Students provide, teachers provide targeted small group instruction based on the students' academic levels. Students have access to the Dreambox math programs, Achieve 3000, Smarty Ants, and the Smarty Ants reading program. LBJ also strives in providing opportunities for our students in, to advance in their academic careers. We offer extracurricular activities and the flipped classroom model that is also used to advance students' knowledge on future lessons. In the future, we will be implementing showcase activities where students can present to family and peers what they have learned and experienced through the public service pathways. Our music ensemble is under the direction of Mr. Lawyer. Students in kinder through fifth participate in district-wide events. Students in third through fifth have the opportunity also to um, be part of the robotics club. This team competes in regional and district competitions throughout the school year. And our blue bonnet club that consists of our second through fifth grade students. Students engage in reading from the blue, but, blue bonnet award winning collection and they compete in district wide competitions. This team has also competed in a, at the city level. We are very proud of them. Other curricular activities that we have are the chess club, the pep squad, and our volleyball and basketball teams that come through the police athletic league. We also have our random acts of kindness club that is under the, that is under the direction of Ms. Leslie Ortiz, our school counselor. The students that participate in this club have engaged in activities that give back to the LBJ community. The students have held clothing drives, they have created Thanksgiving baskets to give away, and they demonstrate random acts of kindness across our school. Our LBJ parents are vital, are a vital role to the success of our campus. Our campus provides monthly parent meetings that are based on parent requests. Our parent liaison is available twice a week to work with our parents. There are many opportunities for our parent volunteers to participate on our campus. Um, such of these um, events may be by helping with special events, reading to students in our classrooms and beautifying our campus. LBJ provides a variety of resources to our community. Daily meals and weekend meals are provided to our students. Our tutoring.com tutorial is offered to all students. Tutoring.com tutoring supports students in their academics and provides the support in multiple languages. Our full-time social worker, Ms. Schran, can provide assistance with connecting families to various outside agencies and assist families with various needs they may have. As the beginning, at the beginning of the school year, we became a one-to-one -one device campus. Each student has an iPad to complete virtual daily, virtual daily lessons and assignments. So why choose L.B. Johnson Elementary? L.B. Johnson allows students to explore career paths within the public surf service pathways. L.B. Johnson offers the flipped classroom model and L.B. Johnson offers a wide variety of extracurricular opportunities that our students may explore and engage in. If you do not follow us already, please follow us on our social media platforms. Thank you for your time and we look forward to working with our future Bobcats.
Hi, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, Ms. Franco. Next up, we have low principal, Ms. Tarlachek. Yes, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Edgewood. This is uh, Ms. Tolarchik, Assistant Principal at Loma Park. Um, thank you to all for uh, tuning in, and I'm glad to share um, the great things going on at Loma today. So our mission at Loma Park is building leaders who can read, write, think, and communicate effectively. Um, our vision uh, to celebrate with our community, parents, and teachers around the academic success of each one of our students around results. Uh, also, for every child's success in life, Loma Proud. Uh, so this year, we have Mr. Joel Garcia joining us. He is our interim principal, uh, and I am returning. Um, again, Sarah Talarchik, this is my third year with Loma Park. So Loma Park, we are home of the mighty Mustangs. We currently serve uh, grades pre-K through five, pre-K being part of the City of San Antonio Head Start program. Our instructional hours are 7.45 to 3.30, office hours 7.30 to 3.30, and we are very proud to now be part of the Public Service Innovation Zone. So how exactly does Loma Park fit into public service? Um, so we're looking at beginning our innovation um, going into 2022 to 2023. So we're still kind of in the planning stages of that. It's very exciting. Um, our focus is to instill uh, leadership and service to our community with guidance in writing, reading comprehension, math concepts to review statistics and data. Our zone collaboration, um, here our kids will have the opportunity to experience um, what the community is doing and um, addressing the needs of all of our members of the public service zone through collaboration and teamwork. So our academic offerings, um, so community and service, uh, we will provide service support and assistance to the Edgewood community and the surrounding areas through volunteering and service learning read and support through service with statistics. So we're supporting and engaging the community by using statistics of our current area around educational opportunities, community engagement, adult education and priorities for the community to benefit from. And in writing and service, students will be able to articulate the process of service learning by developing individual written plans on how to support various aspects of our community and helping others to achieve their goals. <clears throat> So our academic offerings. So we are currently a dual language one way campus. Um, so here we're really offering supports, uh, linguistic supports when it comes to reading and writing, um, really heavy in the lower grades with a, a late exit in the upper grades. Um, we use these instructional strategies to develop reading, writing and awareness as we transition kids to get ready for middle school. Um, so as I mentioned before, we are a Head Start campus right now. Um, so we are working through the city of San Antonio to offer um, Head Start for kids as young as three years old. So that's new this year. We began taking in three-year-olds at Head Start. Um, we do still have our early childhood special ed units. Um, so those are classrooms just for kiddos with disabilities. We have two units for that at, at Loma Park currently. Um, and involvement with others. So we are supporting and encouraging our neighborhood and community to participate in the improvement and beaut beautification of the community. <clears throat> so reaching all learners, um, opportunities for re remediation. We know that this year we've seen some difficulties with kiddos. So what are we doing exactly to help um, close gaps and, and get them where they need to be? So we do have writing academies. We are going to begin offering tutorials um, for math, science, social studies, reading and writing. Um, we have reading labs, math labs, and science labs coming soon. Um, <clears throat> advanced opportunities, um, as mentioned before, we're looking into um, becoming really st strong with our math statistics models, um, science labs, uh, language arts and writing, uh, and then we're incorporating social studies into the service of the community. Um, Achieve 3000 is also a learning platform that we began utilizing last year. We saw some amazing results. So we were really excited to see that um, Edg Edgewood district wide is beginning to implement Achieve 3000 at the elementary levels. 
extracurricular uh, offerings. So service learning, um, that's going to start looking like we are really developing our um, volunteer program, finding ways for kids to uh, make a difference in their community and, and our um, neighborhood at Loma Park. Um, chess program, that's something that Loma Park has participated um, from year one. I, I want to say this is their eighth year in the program. Um, that's going to be an after school program. Um, chess is shown to help kids with their critical thinking strategies, math skills, working under pressure. Um, so that's a really exciting club um, that we'll see taking place hopefully next year once, once we uh, get through the COVID environment. Um, along with that, we also have our PALS. So we've got kiddos participating in both basketball and volleyball. Um, those kiddos get to compete with other elementary schools in the district. Um, that's in collaboration with the police department. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and it builds kids' uh, awareness of safety in the community and the safe schools. Um, we do have Art Club, and that is sponsored by Ms. Uh, Amy Morales, our art teacher. Um, so they're providing tools for students to paint, draw, and express themselves artistically. Um, we do also have robotics, um, and this is also something that the kids get to participate in in a district-wide lo uh, level. We've got that um, competition that occurs every year, so that's very exciting. Um, that's been led by uh, Ms. Gallardo, one of our kindergarten teachers, as well as, um, I believe, Ms. Aldrete, also a first grade teacher. Okay, so opportunities for parents to get involved at Loma Park. Um, our PTA, even in our COVID environment, they've been active. We've already held two meetings with our, our campus PTA. So if you haven't already joined us and you're part of our Loma Park family, please do so. Um, they've held amazing events at the campus from all, our fall festival, um, father-daughter dances, mother-son, spring fling, um, really, really great events that take place at Loma Park and you'll see a huge turnout. Um, from our community. You'll see our black top at the front if you've ever been to the campus, just completely full. It looks like a fiesta event when those things take place. Um, parents in school, we uh, again, outside of the, the COVID environment, we would love to welcome parents in to help by volunteering, um, <clears throat> um, working with kids in the classrooms. Um, CPOC, we would love to have more parent involvement with that. Um, so that's a committee that reviews um, plans and improvements needed for the campus. It helps us guide how we uh, spend our campus budgets. So uh, we always love to get input from parents and community. So please, if you haven't and you're part of our, our uh, Loma family, uh, join our CPOC committee. Um, coffee with the principal is usually a monthly event where we invite parents to come in. Uh, we'll have coffee, breakfast, snacks out, and you get to sit and chat and, and have one-on-one -on -one time with the principal. Um, bring up any questions you have or any needs that you need met. We're happy to see you there. So some resources we provide. So currently we have um, breakfast and lunch served at the campus. We also have a to-go um, meal that goes with kids and they also, we also supply enough to get them through the weekend. So that, that goes home on Friday. So we have meals covered for our kiddos. Um, tutoring, of course, is free. We are going to start offering after after school tutorials in uh, math, reading, science, and writing. If there's any core content that the student's struggling with, we're happy to help them there. Um, other academic resources, these are available from home, um, from school, outside of school, Seesaw, Dreambox, Achieve, and Smarty Ants. Um, and then guidance around our technology. We know that that's a big uh, learning curve that everyone's having to get around this year. Um, so we can guide you with the use of the applications that we're using. Um, and we also have uh, had a huge turnout with requests for hotspots. So some of our families were struggling with having internet connectivity. So that's something that we worked really hard to communicate. Um, so we've delivered a whole bunch to houses. So we made sure that our kids have um, everything they need to be successful with technology. So why choose Loma Park? Um, Loma Park will be the hub for service to our community with a student body that is guided in helping and supporting others in all aspects of their lives. Through service learning, students will be able to develop the capacity to engage all members of the community and have a direct impact on their futures. Um, your student will also be provided with a whole child learning support system with an emphasis on citizenship and service.
Uh, and if you would like to know any more information from us, first of all, stick around for the, um, the small group breakout session, but also check us out, see what's going on with our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So again, thank you again for joining us today. Thank you so much, Loma Park. Next up, we have Ms. Romero from And welcome this evening. Thank you for joining us, Edgewood family. And I'm here to represent Roosevelt Elementary. I'm super excited. I am Ms. Romero, the elementary uh, school counselor. <clears throat> I wanted to begin with our mission and vision. The mission here at our campus is to develop, empower individuals in a supportive environment to lead, engage, and most importantly, to excel in life. Our vision here at Roosevelt is all Roosevelt Falcon scholars will become productive citizens in our global society. Something very special about our campus is we have shared beliefs. Shared beliefs include all students matter and will be successful. We definitely have high expectations and a positive attitude and relationships are vital for our students and their success. All stakeholders will inspire students to love learning and reach their personal goals. And most importantly, each student in our community deserves a high quality, well-rounded education, academically, socially, and life skills. Our leadership team, we have an experienced principal, Dr. Uh, Patricia Ortiz. We have Mr. Allen, he is our assistant principal. We have our literacy coach, Mrs. Macias and our administrative assistant, uh, Mrs. Roy and myself, the counselor, Ms. Romero. Okay, a little bit about our uh, wonderful campus. Our mascot is a falcon. The grades we serve is kinder through fifth grade. Our instructional hours are from 7.45 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Our office hours are from 7.15 a.m. all the way till 4 p.m. And our, the special thing about our campus is we're a public service zone. Our academic partnerships. Two fantastic academic partnerships that we have to help our teachers is the National Institute for Excellence in Teaching, the NIET, in which teacher and leader development programs they work with leadership teams to coach teachers to become um, good to great and instructional partners. We have support programs for teachers to accelerate students learning and ensure access to challenging instruction for all students. Some of the wonderful things that are happening here at Roosevelt is the academic support. What we offer our students is after school tutoring we also um, offer small group instruction by peers tailored to the students' needs. We also offer after school homework club. And most importantly, we have an experienced instructional coach that is here to help teachers um, have your students thrive in our campus. The best thing about Roosevelt, the reason why you should choose us over other campuses is the experienced teachers. Here at Roosevelt, our, our teachers are like family. 50% of our teachers have more than 20 years of experience. 47% of our teachers have between 10 to 20 years of experience. Less than 3% have less than 10 years of experience. And 60% of our teachers have been at Roosevelt for more than five years. This is a fantastic opportunity for your child to receive instruction that is based on their needs from an experienced teacher. Some of the extracurricular activities that we have are the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. We also offer the safety patrols. We also have the recycling club, dance and cheer and robotics. Aside from the experience that we have from the teachers and the family environment, some of the positive things that are here are the well, uh, wellness checks during the morning routines we also have what is called the PSCC committee to make sure everybody is uh, nice and safe. We also uh, promote the attendance incentives 
and reward system for positive behaviors. We have a family atmosphere. We have weekly spirit days and monthly spirit weeks. And most importantly, we have daily social emotional learning activities provided by myself and Mrs. Uh, Begay, our social worker, to ensure that not only their academic needs are met, but also their personal and emotional needs as well. Aside from receiving excellent academic instruction, we also have school-wide celebrations. Here you'll see some fantastic pictures of us celebrating El Dia de los Muertos, and we also have other celebrations for Christmas. If you look at the image here, everybody is happy, smiling, because the most important thing that we have at Roosevelt is the family environment. So if you want to bring your child to Roosevelt, know that they will be treated like family with respect, care, love, and most importantly, one of the best uh, educations possible here at uh, Edgewood Independent School District because we not only offer cultural events, we also have um, events held within the district and um, wonderful learning activities and robotics. I collaborate with our social worker and we have um, lots of family support and resources to outside agencies. If you need um, assistance during the holidays, maybe you need some assistance with uniforms or maybe some food or even some um, school supplies, we also offer that. We also have some principal coffee and town hall meetings where you can join us and discuss different issues and different initiatives that we have available for our families and students so that we can have um, everybody reaching their highest potential and student success. So why choose Roosevelt? All of our schools here in Edgewood are fantastic, but Roosevelt is the best. So if you come to Roosevelt, the best reason would be the experienced teachers and administrators. We will provide your little one with quality including strong foundational skills, good study habits, and academic competence to succeed in life. Another reason you should choose Roosevelt is the extracurricular offering sports programs and after school enrichment programs to work to develop well-rounded students that will be prepared for secondary education and beyond. And the most important reason why you should choose Roosevelt is the cohesive family atmosphere that provides a safe, secure environment that supports students' wellness and positive self-identity. So when you're making your choice for next year, consider Roosevelt Elementary. We are one of the best campuses and you can learn more about us through our website and our social media um, through Facebook and Twitter. So go Roosevelt Falcon, thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Romero. Next up, we move into our secondary campuses. We are gonna hear from the amazing assistant principal, Ms. Priestley at Gus Garcia University School. Thank you so much, Ms. Franco. Good evening, Edgewood families, and welcome to Gus Garcia University School. Our mission at Gus Garcia University is to provide students with a quality education in a safe, supportive environment in partnership with parents and the community. Get to know our leadership team. We are under the guidance of our amazing principal, Christopher Bland, assistant principal, Jorge Madrano, myself, Shamia Priestley, our amazing counseling team, Oralia Gomez, Vicki Watts, and our SEL counselor, Valerie Mendoza. We are also blessed and privileged to have two amazing instructional coaches. Ashley Castillo supports our math department and Odelia Medina supports our English language arts and reading department. We are the home of the chargers. We serve grades six through eight, our instructional hours are 8 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. Our office hours are 7.45 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we are the middle school for the Public Service Innovation Zone. 
You can see our bell schedule here on the graphic presented before you. Again, our school day starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 4.45 p.m. We did have a change of hours this school year. Those of you who are familiar with Gus Garcia are used to shorter hours. We have extended our school day as a part of the ACE programming and our school day does run from 8 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. We have two partnerships this year, one with Texas A&M University San Antonio and another with Big Rocks Educational Services. The 1882 partnership that we have with Texas A&M San Antonio provides both professional growth for our teachers as well as improved student achievement in their academics as well as their social emotional well-being. So how do we fit into the public service innovation zone? This year is our first year of innovation, the 2020-21 school year, and our primary focus is providing our students with a public service-based curriculum to give them a leading edge. Our school is unique because we have three pathways, public health, culinary arts, and education. The graphic that you see before you shows a layout of our course sequences from sixth to ninth grade. We do serve sixth to eighth grade students. If our students stay on track and are successful in their sixth, seventh and eighth grade year, their ninth grade year courses could be geometry, chemistry, English one, world geography, they would continue to take their fine arts electives as well as their PE or athletic courses. And our students do feed into Memorial High School. If our students are successful in their sixth, seventh and eighth grade courses, they could move on to high school already with possibly up to three or four high school credits. And that is our goal, to send our students to Memorial High School with a leading advantage. Again, our academic offerings as a part of the public service innovation zone are health science, culinary arts, and education. Courses that are unique to Gus Garcia University School are self community and culture, lifetime nutrition and wellness, and human growth and development. Our self community and culture course is specifically unique because it gives the students a richer understanding of cultural variation and differences and, excuse me, gives them a sense of pride in their own rich heritage. Reaching all learners. We utilize Achieve 3000, Springboard and Savas, MSTAR, the DBQ project, and our learning platform for middle school students is Microsoft Teams. We have seven high school courses that we offer currently at this time to include Algebra One, Biology, Spanish Two, American Sign Language, Human Growth and Development, and also Physical Education. So again, our students have the opportunity to leave us going into high school with up to three or four high school credits already earned before entering their freshman year. Extended opportunities offered at our campus include the After School All Stars program, Tutor.com, and as a part of the ACE model, we do have an extended learning day, which is why our learning day was extended from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Extracurricular offerings that we have at our campus are athletics and school clubs and organizations. Currently, we offer football, volleyball, boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, and track and field. Our clubs and extracurricular organizations include art, 
Girls Who Code, Girl Scouts, Band, Chess Club, Student Council, and National Junior Honor Society. Our parent involvement opportunities include Texas A&M and the Methodist Healthcare Ministries. Both of these are led by our partners at Texas A&M and our parent family liaison, Ms. Linda Gadea. Resources provided to our families. We provide our students with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, family services, strengthening families, focuses on helping families reinforce their bonds through family-focused activities and training for both parents and students. We also have our Family Leadership Institute and our Parent University. So why choose Gus Garcia University School? If you are interested in the Public Service Innovation Zone, then Gus Garcia University School is the middle school for you. We have a focus on instructional excellence, social and emotional development, and parent and community partnerships. If you would like to learn more about Gus Garcia University School, please visit our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. Also, please feel free to visit the Edgewood ISD website, look for our school, Gus Garcia University School, or please feel free to reach out to the school directly. Our campus number is 210-444-8075. Thank you so much, Ms. Priestley. And last but certainly not least, we have our vice principal, Ms. Rodriguez from Memorial High School. Good evening. Good evening, Edgewood parents, students, community members. So excited to be with you all tonight to tell you more about how your student can round out their K through 12 career in this exciting public service innovation zone. You've heard from four amazing elementary schools and then our middle school, Gus Garcia University School. So now what about once your student has reached high school? As you can see here, we are the recipients of five TEA distinction designations in the areas of mathematics, science, social studies, and comparative academic growth and comparative closing the gaps. We do plan and we work, every effort is to graduate all Memorial High School scholars, college, career, or military ready on time. Memorial High School, we continue a tradition of excellence to prepare all students to become lifelong learners and responsible citizens ready to meet the challenges of a future in an ever-changing world. Certainly this year has proven that more than ever. Here's the rest of our amazing administration team. We are under the direction of Dr. Tanya Loyola. We have Assistant Principal Tina Garcia and Sarah Stewart. I am your proud vice principal, Rihanna Rodriguez. And then we have our hardworking campus test coordinator, Ms. Annette Guzman James. Also supporting the team and your amazing scholars that you will send us is our instructional coach, Sandra Hernandez, our lead counselor, Ms. Teresa Fisher, and our social emotional learning counselor, Ms. Marilyn Brown. So here we are, the home of the proud Minutemen. We serve students in grades nine through 12. Our instructional day currently is 8.30 to 1.05 p.m. During typical school day hours, we will be 8.30 to 4.30. And our office is open from 8.15 to 4.30. And again, we are the end of the awesome public service innovation zone. Here's our bell schedule that would be typical in a non-COVID time. So some of our most exciting partnerships include that with um, Alamo Colleges, including Palo Alto, St. Phillips, and San Antonio College. We are an early college high school campus, and that partnership is with Palo Alto College. 
What that means is that you or your student has the opportunity to earn their associate degree while simultaneously finishing their high school degree. Now, if a student doesn't necessarily want to go that route, but they do want to work on an industry-based certification so that they have highly employable skills by the time they graduate high school, they can also take classes at Palo Alto or St. Philip's College or San Antonio College. So how else do we fit into this public service zone that we're talking about this evening? We will be innovating in 2022 to 2023. And our focus is to become a P-TECH Pathways Early College High School here at Memorial High School. So what is the difference exactly between P-TECH and Early College? They're very similar in that students can earn an associate degree, but P-TECH allows them to also earn that industry-based certification. For example, students can complete their associate of science degree in culinary arts and they would have a certificate in that same area. We also have hospitality and tourism and health information technology. So again, just to expand a little more on those academic offerings, our students have the option to participate in culinary arts, hospitality and tourism, health science, business marketing and finance, education and training, and that's for students who may want to become teachers down the road. And then of course, we've already talked a little bit about our awesome early college high school opportunity. Reaching all learners and extended opportunities include the service of tutor.com where students can get additional help. We also extend learning opportunities for those students who are already thriving and they have the opportunity to take advanced coursework in AP cor courses, dual credit, or UT on ramps so that they are taking college courses while still in high school. Our extracurricular offerings include all of the main athletics, our awesome minute band. We have cheer, dance, student council, National Honor Society, UIL, and so here you see some of our students and these pictures are all very recent. So things are slowly but surely returning to a sense of normalcy here on a very busy high school campus. We love for our parents to be involved and these are just a few ways that parents can choose to be involved. We offer parent university workshops that are led by our district office we have athletic boosters for our athletic teams, also our band and cheer and dance. Our picture here um, in the top right corner shows a group that went to Washington DC for band and our boosters were instrumental in making that trip for our students happen. And then of course, as you've heard from some of our other school representatives, certainly we encourage parent participation on our CPOC committee to guide our goals and how we spend our campus budget to serve your students the best. Other resources provided to our awesome families include breakfast, lunch, and dinner at no charge to our families, tutor.com, and regular Saturday schools. We also partner with communities and schools, and we have an upward bound partnership with Trinity University. And again, as you've heard from so many, and as you may already know, we are a one-to-one -one district, and so all students do have a device checked out to them. So to summarize, why choose Memorial High School? There's so many reasons. Number one, students have a variety of public service pathways to choose from. And so again, to go through those, business management, culinary arts, health science, hospitality and tourism and education, teaching and training. Students get the opportunity to go through practicums to find out what it really means to have a career in one of those exciting fields. Secondly, we talked about the early college high school partnership. How exciting is it that your student can get their associate degree often even before they finish their high school diploma. Often the college graduation is before the high school graduation. And finally, we have that variety of extracurricular activities, athletics, National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Student Council. 
We are the 2020 Salsa Bowl champions, as you can see there in the corner. And again, that is our very proud Minutemen band represented. We are so proud of our students. So in the coming days, we absolutely welcome your questions. Please follow us if you don't already on our social media platforms. We are very active there showing you all the amazing things that our students and teachers are doing. We encourage your questions. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Look forward to all of you. Go Minutemen. Thank you so much, Memorial High School. So now we are moving into our breakout rooms. Welcome back. I hope you got uh, some of your questions answered during the breakout rooms. If you didn't, please know that you can contact anyone at any of the campuses that you, uh, that you saw this evening uh, to get any other questions that you might have answered. I hope you enjoyed the presentations and maybe even found a school as unique as your students. Don't forget, also join us tomorrow evening via Zoom to discover more about our performing arts and leadership zones. The Burleson School for Innovation and Education will also present tomorrow night. And also don't forget on Monday, November 16th at 6 p.m., we will host our school choice fair event covering all of the zones in Spanish. We hope to see everyone there. Thank you so much for your time this evening and even more so thank you for choosing Edgewood ISD. Have a wonderful evening.